In this video, we will demonstrate the forensic backup feature in Acronis CyberProtect. A forensic copy is a bit-by-bit, sector-by-sector, direct copy of a physical storage device. This includes all files, folders, and unallocated free space, as well as slack space. It also includes a memory dump and a snapshot of running processes. There are a multitude of reasons for having forensic backups, including log monitoring, to analyze log entries and correlating log entries across many systems to help assist in identifying policy violations, auditing, and incident handling, data recovery for retrieving data that has been accidentally or purposely deleted or otherwise modified, due diligence and regulatory compliancy related to existing and even emerging regulations requires companies to protect sensitive information and maintain certain records for audit purposes. In the event protected information gets exposed to other parties, the company may be required to notify other agencies or individuals that are impacted. A forensic backup can assist companies to exercise due diligence and comply with such requirements. To create a forensic backup in a protection plan, you would go to Plans, Protection, and then Create Plan. When you create this type of plan, you will most likely create a separate plan only for forensic backup. Thus, having the rest of the modules except backup disabled would most likely be in order. When in the backup plan, make sure entire machine is selected for what to backup, and under backup options, hit change. You will see forensic options. Once selected, you can turn on collect forensic data. You will have the option to select a device at that time or not add devices and later add a device when you want to perform a forensic backup option. Additionally, you can schedule these backups or not have it scheduled and perform when asked to do so. Acronis CyberProtect will perform the following functions during the forensic backup process. The system will collect a raw memory dump and a list of running processes. Keep in mind that a full memory dump may contain sensitive data such as passwords. Automatically reboot a machine into the bootable media. Create a backup that includes both the occupied and unallocated space notarizes the backup disks, and reboots into the live operating system and continue the plan execution. For example, any replication, retention, validation, and other functions. Please note that once the protection plan is applied, the forensic data settings cannot be modified. You would need to start over creating a protection plan. Supported locations for backups with forensic data can be either cloud storage or a local folder. However, the local folder is supported only on an external hard disk connected via USB. Local dynamic disks are not supported as a location for forensic backups. You could also use a network folder. When you backup with forensic data, this backup is automatically notarized. This ensures the data backed up forensically is exactly the image taken and was not compromised for proper chain of custody. During the forensic backup, the agent calculates the hash code, builds a hash tree, saves the tree in the backup, and sends the hash tree root to our notary service. The notary service will save the hash tree root in an Ethereum blockchain database, so make sure the value does not change. To verify authenticity, the agent calculates the hash of the disk and compares the hash stored in the hash tree inside the backup. Further, to ensure the hash tree was not compromised, the agent sends the hash tree root to the notary service. Then the service compares with the one stored in the blockchain database. If the hatches match, then it is authentic. If not, the software will display a message stating the disk is not authentic. You can verify the notarized backup manually and get a certificate and follow the verification process using the TIBEX read tool. To get the certificate for a backup with forensic data from the console, do the following. Go to Backup Storage and select the backup with forensic data. Recover the entire machine. The system will open the disk mapping view. Click the Get Certificate icon for the disk, and the system will generate the certificate and open a new window in the browser with the certificate. Below the certificate, you will see the instructions for manual verification of notarized disk backup. How often to backup will be on a case-by-case -case basis depending on the company and any regulatory compliancy one might fall under. Acronis CyberProtect provides the flexibility and protection plans to address this. Thanks for watching.